fight commentary breakdowns here. If you follow this channel, you've probably seen Xu Xiaodong and all the other MMA versus traditional Chinese martial arts videos that have been going on and happening in China. And I thank you guys for following this channel. If you really go down this Chinese martial arts versus mixed martial arts stuff that's been going on, the rabbit hole goes very deep. You realize before Xu Xiaodong ever came onto the scene, there were lots of matches already. So let's watch Probably the first televised event ever. This was five years ago. Five years ago. January of 2015. The first televised event I could find. This was on the Tianjin Network. And it's a Wing Chun guy challenging a Sanda kickboxer. So let's watch. This is called Jing Wu later. Cao Yang, Cao Ya Guang, Cao Ya Guang. This is a Sanda fighter. So he's like, I respect this Wing Chun master, but um, I will fight him to 100% my ability. Oh, this is going to be a slaughter, man. This is going to be slaughter. Here it is, Wing Chun master. Yang Chen Zhang. Yang Chen Zhang. Yang Chen Zhang. Here it starts. Wing Chun guy is shorter, taking a kick. Oh my God, Wing Chun guy has reached this advantage. This is bad. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Uh oh, be careful, be careful. Oh my goodness. Sunda guy is, you know, keeping distance, right? Oh, sidekicks. Oh, yeah, there you go. Chain punching. We see chain punching. Dude, it's not doing anything to Sunda guy. Oh, do not get spin kicked, man. Better be careful. Don't just, don't just do chain punches. Do some of the other stuff. Some of the other Wing Chun stuff. That was the end of the first round. Oh, my God. He's going to knock the F out, man. He gets to see a son. His son's here. Ah, that's so cute. Put the put the mouth guard on your Of course, a Russian lady as the ring girl. Chinese people love these white monkeys as they call it. They love to, you know, uh, have white girls and white guys represent different things. So it's really funny they got a white monkey type of job for the Russian girl. Anyways, also guys, this was a few years ago, right? So So, our son, that guy, I think, either he's just taking it easy or he was told to take it easy because he's not going full force, man. He's not going full force at all. Ugh. Dude, our Wing Chun guy has no sense of, like, distance management, man. Don't. Ugh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ugh. Ugh. Man, he ate a rib. He ate a rib. He ate a rib. Ow. I wonder if Weezing, whatever company, Weezing, I wonder if they endorse it. It's almost filmed like a TV show, like a docudrama. The editing was so bad. Oh, the son's crying. So the son's saying, I've never seen my dad hurt like this before. Wow. That looked like a rib kick, man. That looked like a rib kick. For the sake of trying to make Kung Fu look good. Oh, look at the Sanda fighter helping him up, man. Oh, shaking hands. Wow. Oh, yeah. I think his rib's broken. Don't touch that area. Don't touch that area. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is a better way, guys. This is a much better way to celebrate this than to, like, you know, either fake it or to ban people. Like, give them a chance. If they lose, give them some props for trying, but also tell them the stuff you're doing doesn't work. Like, I like this approach. I don't know why... Chinese media didn't do more of this. 
our Wing Chun guy ended up with a broken rib. And I tried to look him up. I tried to see what he's been up to since. There's not a lot of information. His name is Yang Chen Zhang. And all I can see is that there's a province in China called Hainan Dao. And in the city of Haikou, he apparently is some kind of like kickboxing sanda administrator there. So it looks like he loves Kung Fu, but he's in whatever he does work wise, been working with kind of the modern Chinese martial arts to do something. That's all I can find. The sanda kickboxer's name is Cao Ya Guang, Cao Ya Guang. And I looked him up. I found footage as recent as 2018 of him fighting. So he's already very skilled in 2012. He's definitely gone professional. Besides a really cool piece of martial arts history, I also wanted to show you guys this because I like the respect shown on both sides. There wasn't much smack talking. There wasn't much kind of, oh, you're gay, you're stupid, you know, you're a traitor, you're a fag, you know, none of that stuff, right? It was just, this guy thinks he has a skill, he wanted to challenge it, the people putting on the events like, yeah, let's see what goes on, etc., etc. And I get it, the modern day is different. 2015 was very, very different. Social media just wasn't the same, the algorithms and everything. I used to work for a company, a lot of you know, TikTok, Top Buzz, you know, stuff like that. I used to work for that company, so that company just started in 2015, right? All this machine algorithm, predictive kind of stuff to get you hooked on a website like YouTube or hooked on an app like TikTok or Musical.ly, that stuff didn't exist in 2015 or just started basically. In our modern day, it promotes more of the bickering, the kind of back and forth. That's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much. Thank you again for following Fight Commentary Breakdowns. We have a lot more of martial arts history coming up. Bye-bye.